In this part of the lesson, we're going to talk about a very important feature of Git and GitHub branches and to see how those branches are managed. So far, we've been talking about a single body of code, the branch, which has been changed over time by making commits. This is fine if you're the only person working on a project, but if you're having to coordinate your work with other people, you often don't want to be working on the same code at the same time. Another circumstance where this is important would be if you are making provisional changes to some code, but the main code that you are depending on has to remain in a functional state. In both of these cases, what you would want to do is to create a branch of your work. When you create a branch, you are making a copy of the main branch at a particular moment in time. So when the branch starts off, it's exactly the same. But as you add changes and commits to the branch, your branch starts to change from the main branch. This could be happening if you're working on several different features, or perhaps you and some other person are also working on changes at the same time. So branching allows development work on documents to proceed at the same time without interfering with what the other person is doing. There has to be, of course, some way to get this work back into the main branch, and that is done through a process called merging. When you merge, you are basically taking the changes that you made and incorporating them into the main branch. That incorporation is usually preceded by what's known as a pull request, and we'll talk about pull requests in more detail later.